This game isn't even three years old, but it already makes me feel nostalgic. Nostalgic for 2009. Remember 2009? That was about when Nintendo was at that glorious nexus where innovation and commercial success were just colliding head on. You had two platforms, a home console and a handheld, that were both dramatically different from any of their competing platforms. They had features that almost demanded new approaches to game design, but just as importantly, they were also breaking sales records. That meant they could both inspire developers and give publishers incentive to back those creative ideas. It was, it was an explosion of awesome. And thanks to those conditions, we got games like Scribblenauts. In an era of cool ideas, this was one of the coolest. Released to the Nintendo DS in glorious, wonderful 2009, Scribblenauts came from developer Fifth Cell, a studio that was mostly under the radar until 2007, which is when they released the fantastic DS game Drawn to Life. Two years later, the same creative thinking that led to that game spawned Scribblenauts, a breakthrough release for both Fifth Cell and the Nintendo DS. Scribblenauts is kind of a hard game to explain. Uh, I guess in a general sense, this is an action puzzler that emphasizes user creativity and verbosity. The game's built on the idea of adding to the game world with virtually anything you can think of, provided you can, you know, spell it. Scribblenauts gives you a basic problem and, like a magician, conjures whatever item you want to solve it. Well, basically, it works like this. You generally have a simple objective, like grab the item that's just out of reach. But how you achieve that is completely up to you and whatever your imagination comes up with. You can just write ladder, which will give you a ladder to climb, uh, but you know, maybe you want to write helicopter and grab it in style. That's the whole point of scribble knots. Come up with anything that works. It sounds so simple, but it's incredibly addictive. In fact, Scribblenauts is more like an electronic toy box. You can do almost anything you want, provided you're not, you know, writing a proper noun or something suggestive, you little pervert. It's insane to see the game not only recognize your words, but to see the objects doing the things they should be doing. That core concept steals the show, and it's really unlike anything else, but the game does have a few problems, especially in terms of control. You actually move with the stylus, with the character Maxwell following your swipes and touches.